everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. If you inherited millions of dollars, what would you do with the money, let alone with the rest of your life? It's definitely not an easy question, but St. Catherine Drexel didn't hesitate and began with the poor. Catherine Drexel was born in Pennsylvania in 1858, right in the middle of some seriously turbulent times for the United States. The Civil War loomed just a few years away, and the nation was more divided than it had ever been. In spite of these circumstances, Catherine was doubly fortunate in her upbringing. She was born into a family that was both wealthy and kind. Her father was a pious and prayerful man, and her stepmother charitably and regularly allowed the poor into their home. With this kind of childhood environment, Catherine became a woman predisposed toward giving to others, but she didn't find her call to action until a trip to the Western United States in 1884. It was then that she became fully aware of the pitiful situation of the Native Americans who lived in poverty and misery. Following the deaths of her father and stepmother, Catherine and her two sisters were left with an inheritance of $15 million split between them. Catherine immediately began applying her funds in an effort to assist the suffering Native Americans, but it became obvious in time that they didn't just need money, but people. Catherine and her sisters were granted an audience with Pope Leo VIII, and Catherine took the opportunity to personally request missionaries to aid the cause she was in financing. The Pope looked at Catherine and said, why don't you become a missionary? Catherine was understandably shocked by the suggestion. Could you imagine being called out by the Pope himself like that? More than that, she seriously doubted her ability and worthiness to oversee such a task and asked for guidance from her spiritual director, Bishop James O'Connor. The bishop assured her that what mattered wasn't her ability, but her willingness to serve. Seeing that she had been presented with a great opportunity, Catherine made the decision to dedicate herself to God, giving not just her wealth, but also her time to both Native Americans and African Americans, who lived in tremendously difficult conditions. She founded the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament for this purpose and continued to found and serve in over 50 schools and missions, stopping only when her health was compromised by a heart attack at 77 years old. She spent her remaining years in fervent prayer and contemplation while her life's mission was carried on by the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament. Catherine devoted her millions to the millions of marginalized people who needed her help. And while God doesn't give everyone a million dollars, he does give each of us a gift and the free will to decide when and where we apply them. Like St. Catherine, sometimes we're presented with opportunities, but feel we're not good enough. In those times, we can do as she did, pray and ask for spiritual direction. But above all, remember, God formed each and every one of us. And if we're good enough for him, we can be certain that without a doubt, our worth is priceless. May we too strive to use our gifts in service to God and bring about his eternal kingdom. St. Catherine Drexel, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.